the first time I created this video of installing AWS CLI, um, I installed AWS CLI version 2. But this is an evaluation software, so not a good idea. I mean, like, things might work, might not work. And you definitely don't want to use it in production. So I'm going, I was trying to go back to AWS CLI version 1. And I was, uh, like, I, ha I was having no luck uh, trying to uninstall this. And you guys might also run into the same issue. So just wanted to... Um, Kind of show you guys okay so the procedure that it kind of shows it just slash user local bean that loud yawn was my dog uh, who has to make sure to let me know that she just woke up uh coming back to the aws cli2 i could the suggestion was delete these two and delete this one and everything should be fine and it wasn't fine I, uh, and basically I kept trying to uninstall it and he just kept telling me the requirements are satisfied this and that so finally the thing that worked was sudo pip3 uninstall AWS CLI and the reason that worked was because I did when I did the installation of, of AWS CLI I must have done it using sudo which is not a good practice and I once again had to do it the same way because the references get stuck in places uh, which are hard to get rid of so uh, definitely don't do this uh, AWS CLI installation for one is pretty straightforward okay so pip3 install AWS CLI uh, Unless you use this dash dash upgrade slash dash dash user, it's going to install for all users on your system and you don't want to do that. I mean, like, honestly, uh, if you're trying stuff out, get VirtualBox and create a temporary machines and uh, basically install your stuff on that. I always had, uh, like, temporary VMs that I would work on uh, and I never actually worked on my laptop uh, when I you use these tools uh, let it be AWS let it be Google anyway so this is what you would need to use uh, for installing AWS current version and for that you're gonna need Python uh, which you can get from python.org and then uh, you're gonna need pip and pip you can get from pip.pypa.io uh, and I'll put the links for both of them in the description of this video. Uh, now, now what we need to do is configure the uh, AWS CLI to be able to connect to our AWS account. And the way you do that, you go AWS config. We're gonna go AWS configure. And once this shows up, uh, if you guys remember in the last uh, lesson, we got the access key ID, then the secret key, uh, and default region, I am taking US East one, because like I said, that's where the majority of their uh, features are released. Uh, and uh, the default output format, I'm gonna keep text. It can be set to JSON but text always works out better. All right, so now in uh, this folder, uh, which is .aws, it's going to create two files, and one is cat config and cat credentials. So basically, whatever we just put in, it just goes into this file. So if you want to use another user, you're just gonna copy paste this whole thing, not the access key IDs and AWS secret key. And instead of default, you would use uh, another um, profile name. Okay, and that should be it, AWS 3LS. Okay, uh, I have two buckets in that account and both are visible. So AWS CLI is set up. All right guys, thank you.
I talked about this, but I didn't really do it. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. So this is the default profile. Uh, and well, you won't make two copies of the default profile, but uh, let's just assume that created one more account. Let's say one for uh, your AWS finance account, one for your AWS uh, marketing account. So the finance account uh, stays default or you don't have to keep it default. You can call it uh, finance and marketing. Right. So now, uh, if these were different keys, in case of um, now once again the same thing, you're gonna have to use. Would you mind? Once again, you can have different reason, but I'm going to use US East one. All right, so now when you execute the uh, AWS commands, AWS S3 LS, if you do this, there is no default profile, so uh, it's not going to do anything. So you're going to have to specify a profile. Uh, it's either finance. misspelled yeah I have misspelled it okay So once again, and now this time it is going to show that information. Now, once again, when you uh, are connecting to, we're gonna assume you're connecting with a different account and it'll show you information in that account, if that makes sense. Uh, all right guys, that's all I wanted to add to this video. Thank you.